my Bible aside, red pepper, that will do well for us all later. Load their rate of ripening so you get them to join the club as well. you wanna know where we are one I am seated by my small fridge it's been there for three years it's helped me um, preserve my groceries so today I just thought of filling it up with you people so I just cleared it and I just left it for condensation so do not mind the noise but before that I had two things I have placed you there so, so that you can clearly see all the yellow around I traveled home and I, I was just thinking and meditating through how everyone or God's people are waiting for God's testimony are waiting for God's presence And their prophecies to become true and God's word and God's promises also to become true into their lives and so I was looking and deeply meditating through um, the way people are hurting and deeply looking at you know the way we are waiting you know on God's answer uh, on a lot you know we know the shifts have changed and you know, we know the changes and the pain that has come and the way we are in that point you know in life we wait for God's direction and off we go and so my mom you know and so my mom you know just threw me to one verse which is John chapter 13 and I have my Bible I had to pick it before I sit here John chapter 13 verse 23 and it says Jesus replied anyone who loves me will obey my teaching and this is following the God says he esteems his word more than his name and so that is it more than his name and so he says anyone who loves me will obey my teaching and my father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them if it's fighting you know the daily battle just do it by the full armor of christ you know in ephesians 6 10 living just strive your best to do it righteousness and strive your best to just do it holy because god is holy he says if we love him we will obey his teaching everything that he said if it's being patient if it's being kind and compassionate to the families the vulnerable families if, if, if it's to wait you know because the battle is not ours if it's to just pray constantly without ceasing i think that means the same if we pray constantly if that is what it means by obeying his word then we do it then that means that we love the lord and then my father will, will love them God will love you and you know what happens when God loves you peace and ending every provision protection you know God you provide you shepherd you everything that is all that we find in God and then we will come to them and make our home with them it's even more heavenly when God and the Trinity comes to make their home in you that means life everlasting may that be your verse you know just John 14 and 23 as obeying and keeping his word and through that God will love us so much and not just that they will come and make home with us so I hope that spoke a word but my Bible aside I, I told you not to <laughs> not to worry where I have mounted my camera where the position I have mounted my camera so basically I'm just refilling my fridge so and there are little things that I discovered by the way while I was um, purchasing I think over the time I have never known some of these nitty-gritty this is the crisper drawer where you just draw and then you you, you throw your, your your veggies and all that is supposed to be there like for me I can start with maybe broccoli it's up here don't mind I just had to place them my broccoli is I'll throw them there but broccoli is not supposed to stay there for long because you know they change color after it just condenses and just slows the rate at which it will ripe or that word yeah so I will just put mine here again what I discovered is huh your carrots you're not supposed to wash them before putting them in the fridge wash them just 
immediately before you use them because the moisture is not going to do them well so i have mine here but they have to be put in a perforated paper which i have not done it i'm just straight from shopping and getting them so i'll just assume i'll throw them into a perforated paper later on but that will help them in the fridge for close to a month but you know the moisture doesn't do them good they will change the crisp or even the test then we go for two papers maybe um you can have your green paper you can draw them there there is no problem or my crisper drawer is full so i'll just place them on top although i prefer using some maybe material to place them and use them on use them on i found this pretty interesting this thing is massive <laughs> but i like i like yellow red paper they're sweet and nutritious and they're rich in vitamin c and more nutrients that we do not know about red pepper that will do well for an omelet or something these are just my chilies but i prefer them wrapped yeah i prefer them wrapped so that they do not absorb much moisture as well i have my potatoes i won't put them here potatoes you know they have to be dry and what else did i get as sweet potatoes as well you do not have to store them here for fruits and especially in this season you just have to clean them before storing them because of course you know they went through many hands before they got to you so you can always clean them before you get there so here are my carrots but i'm not going to really put them there i'll just fix them in a perforated paper so just assume that i just want to get that paper because what i have right now is not a perforated paper so I remember I told you for your carrots, when you get them fresh, don't wash them before storing them in a fridge. They will go back. <laughs> they will hurry bika. <laughs> they will hurry bika or even stay in your fridge for weeks. Hmm. Is it weeks? No, they will stay for days instead of a month or something. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I thought of notifying you of that. What other vegetable did I get? I got onions. For them, you have to they have to stay dry. So I just put them in the rack. What else? Um, yeah, the ginger, garlic, and all that. You just make sure they are dry. So for avocados, you also want to slow their rate of ripening so you get them to join the club as well. You just want to slow the rate at which they get ripe so you want to put them there but for onions and i was saying garlic and all that let me just push them for a clearer look you should actually pour them somewhere and maybe it's a i don't know what this, what this is you just want to just put them somewhere and once in a while you dry them i think yeah they shouldn't get moisture although these are roots they could just be dry but for the onions you can always check and make sure they are ever 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 dry for my dania or Curry coriander <laughs> you can always have them dip them in water that that could be enough just that get enough that you can finish with before they go bad and that is that that is basically that so that is that so thank you so much for your time watching thank you so much for um listening and we're just done with that short grocery video also for cucumbers you can always refrigerate them because you just want to cook them with the crisp and the natural test you know without having to lose that so thank you so much for watching but i i hope it was a bit impactful it's something i just noticed the other day and i was like oh why can't i do this with you, thank you so much for your time and sticking around i love you so much Mwah. see you on my next one bye